<laughs> okay, so here we are with Woo! my. Oh my god, you're excited! Yeah, it was a good movie. Sicario. This is a great movie. Seriously, Perfect I've been here. timing. Oh my god, right? <laughs> like, please continue to just blame. I understand you can't find your car. Right. But please, okay, that. Fixed. Okay, guys, disaster averted here. So we can get back to talking about Siciario. Sicario. Six 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 Soup Supia? Soup Forget City. So Soup Forget City, yeah, that's it. Which is wow. Okay, so I get to do an immediate reaction about two good movies in a week. That makes me happy. And I haven't introduced you yet. I'm sorry. This is my Rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Dylan. And this is Dylan. We've been friends for years. Too long, almost. Uh, yeah, seriously. Actually, I think we might need to get a break in here just to right. you know keep things interesting. Sounds good. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy. He uh, he's a huge video game player, and you know he's a pretty he's a pretty cool guy. That's all you really need to know about. All right, him. sweet. So Sicario, this movie. What it, basically what it boils down to is this movie is about Emily Blunt, who by the way I love. I, I do. Have you seen many Emily Blunt movies? Probably, like, I can't remember. Uh, did you see Edge of Tomorrow last year? No. Okay, you should. You you probably like it. Uh, the other one that I really recommend is uh, the Adjustment Bureau. No. Okay, so the, <laughs> the Adjustment Bureau is one of my favorite movies. Like, oh, yeah? top ten. I have loved that movie, and I've loved her since I saw it back in 2010. So anything with Emily Blunt in it is good for me. So Emily Blunt is an FBI agent who's just, you know, she's there to, like, kick down the door of assholes and fuck up their shit well, if they don't She starts as an abduction agent. Exactly. Yeah, she deals with that kind of stuff. Yeah. She sort of gets pulled into the special project. Yeah, she demonstrates, with, um, uh, you know, high skills and, like, you know, valuable things and she gets catches the attention of um josh brolin a J- uh, yeah josh brolin i'm said james brolin <laughs> definitely not james brolin <laughs> definitely not james i don't know who the fuck james brolin is but that's not who the guy <laughs> in this movie is and for the record josh brolin was fucking hilarious in this horrifying. movie yeah and like i mean yeah he's, he's horrifying but yeah exactly he's so insane like the first scene you see him in he's wearing fucking flip-flops in a board meeting because that's usually a sociopathic move right but, but, but then like you see him like like all the layers get pulled back and you realize that the reason he's kind of kooky is because he just doesn't give a shit right, because yeah. he's such an efficient fucking killer shoots <laughs> like, from the hip exactly like oh my god like he okay and then then we after that you meet uh benicio del toro yes. who Man, that is the real man of the hour here. And like, we're not going to get into spoilers here. Secretively. Secretively, he is the real hero of this story. It's and actually, crazy. yeah. Oh my, oh my God. Like, I, I Benicio, like, I just, I just sung the praises of, uh, what's her name? Uh, Emily Blunt. <laughs> I just said I love, and I can't remember her name now. The best actress. <laughs> the best remember. actress ever. What's her face? <laughs> and then, you know, we talked about James Brolin being as amazing Josh as Brolin. he is. James, Josh, Jimmy. <laughs> James I, I'm calling him Jay Brolin from now on. <laughs> Jay Brolin. But Benicio del Toro, this is really his movie. Like, he was so fucking good. Yes. Every second he was on screen. Yes. And then the best part is, after the movie, we got to see like a little, a little Q&A. Yeah. yeah. We got to actually see the real uh, he, uh, uh, Benicio Del Toro. mumbled and did not want to answer any questions. <laughs> no. It was pretty incredible. <laughs> he did a very good job of, oh my God. of just sort of like giggling nervously and just... Oh, that, that, uh, no, my, my, the best thing he did though was definitely when he's like, <laughs> uh, I don't like to talk. And that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> I'm just here to promote the movie. I don't want to actually speak to you people. Pretty much, yeah. And oh my god, like the questions that people always ask of those things are so lame. In scene three, for the first line, you say, did you really mean... It's just loop. <laughs> There was a character the in a week. scene that disappeared yeah. and, and, uh, two seconds later and was never talked about again. I will notice there was a scene where Emily Blunt's character yes. lights a cigarette but does not light a cigarette. Oh my god, you pointed that uh, out and Benici- that was hilarious. Uh, Benicio Del Toro, please comment. Yeah. Please comment on Lindsay's video. What's the deal? We should have we should have gotten Benicio. <laughs> oh, we, oh, we, sh- we fucked up. We should have gotten Benicio in the back seat uh, right now. What up, Benny? You done hey, goofed. Guess, guess what, guys? We fucked with you. He's actually right. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's actually gonna believe that. I don't think so, though. You should like Photoshop like, a face that like pops up, <laughs> just, just like a MS Paint clipped out. Like like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, totally cracked out Benicio del Toro just in the yeah, backseat exactly. right now. If I can find a way to do that, I will do that. No, I mean like really lo-fi. Oh, like like super like actually, should I just like just like just sketch it? Yeah, like, just, exactly. Just, there just, you just, go. Just, <laughs> just a stick figure with big crazy hair and like yeah. a joint coming out of his Perfect. mouth. Perfect. You know what? Yeah, that is that would make this the best immediate reaction ever. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah. It was a pretty good movie. It's definitely like one of the best movies I've seen in a while. Definitely, very original story. 
you know, what's crazy about the story too is like I don't want to talk about it because like I don't want to spoil like kind of where yeah. it goes. It's kind of cool. Like this is a good movie. Like that that should be an. I mean, like yeah. oh, we seen we got something in your mind. What are you trying to say? No, no it, was, it was a very interesting story and it was told in a very interesting way. It was. It like, wasn't yeah. gimmicky. No, not at all. The special effects were not overt. And the practical yeah. effects were done very well. So, oh my god, Nothing, those the corpses audio, were like. Oof. This isn't spoiler. This is like the first yeah. like twenty minutes or two minutes. Like the first time they go into Mexico, they show these corpses hanging from like an o freeway overpass. Yeah. And it's like terrifying. Yeah. Like it's a simple shot, but it's fucking terrifying. <laughs> totally. It's like very extremely atmospheric. All of these beautiful landscapes. I forget the. Uh, Roger Cinema Deakins is a fucking master yeah. with he did the camera. Fargo, I guess. Yeah, he did Fargo. It he felt very Fargo. -y, so many very movies. like huge open landscapes. Yeah. The audio was a little bit loud, but that could have just been the theater. There's That's some true. scenes where it's like helicopter coming in from above, and it's like shaking the whole, the whole everything. But again, that could have been the theater. That wasn't necessarily. Yeah, I, I noticed that a couple times. Well. Like a couple of the gunshots and a couple of the guns. Uh, I mean, the gun shots are always loud, but there's a couple of gun fight scenes where it's like yeah. really fucking yeah. loud. Which is also totally adding to the movie, where it's this very visually intense yeah. movie, and it, the audio just adds to that, and not just visu uh, visually, but emotionally and. Oh, you know, the, deal, the movie goes on to deal with some pretty heavy, pretty heavy shit. Yeah, definitely. Like you know, you don't want the gunshots to be too quiet because then like they're, they doesn't they don't have the impact that ew, is needed. Ew, yeah, exactly. Ew. <laughs> ah, <laughs> when this movie comes out on DVD, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, no one's gonna believe that. I actually want to see like a big uh, blockbuster action movie, like a five million, five hundred million dollar budget, and they go bing, 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 bing <laughs> to I each other and shit. Uh, uh, actually, YouTube. Yeah video a guy made his own movie like action movie in his <laughs> house and it's just like special effects of like handguns that sounds pretty good <laughs> that sounds awesome okay I, I i'll have to check that out that sounds really good but yeah but yeah no sicario it's amazing there's some of the best acting i've seen this year this i can see at least a couple of them getting nominated for stuff i don't i mean this one definitely yeah like benicio probably is going to get a supporting yeah, actor yeah, yeah, yeah. uh josh bullen might get a supporting actor uh, uh you think benicio might get a uh, lead acting yeah, that's the question. So, is what do you know? Who, who is the main character of this movie? Well, let's be let's be honest. The real main character here isn't Benicio del Toro's character, but actually Benicio del Toro himself. Because if you watch <laughs> carefully in all the scenes, even the ones that Benicio del Toro is in, he's taking off the, yeah. the character's mask and it's him underneath. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. No, but yeah, that's there. There's the sort of it follows two characters, and yes. one is Benicio del Toro, and the other one is a real human being. Yes. That you actually want to like. You to, would, you, to clarify, Benicio del Toro is not a real human he's being. He's not a real human being. <laughs> he's, he's a, a fake person. He's a total I'm on the verge of coughing horribly right now. Sorry, guys. But, uh. Ooh. The sort of the back and forth between those two and mm -hmm. then the sort of family in Mexico, it's all. Yeah. It's all very intertwined and it's all very balanced. And there's some great twists with it all, too. Like, this movie really. It's not twisty, though. It's just. Well, it throws you some curveballs where it's like you think it's going one way and then it kind of. Yeah. Things kind of. But it's not yeah. like at the end where you're like, yeah, the aliens were allergic to water. It's oh, <laughs> this this all makes sense. There's no like stupid questions. That's true. Even though good. there should be a lot of questions, right. you should be like, what the fuck? Well, that ties into what you said. There's no gimmicks. It's all yes. just straightforward, effective storytelling yeah. without having to cheat anything, which is yeah. fucking amazing. Especially a little, a little long, two hours. Yeah, but it didn't feel too long. It didn't, or I don't know. In my mind, two hours is not too long. Well, like, I just saw another movie, which I'm going to talk about on my channel here soon, um, Attack on Titan, the, the live-action version of it. They, that movie came out? Yeah. And, when did that come out? Uh, Wednesday. Oh, in, like, sick. three different it? theaters, four different showings over across three different series. Uh, cool. I, I mean, I'm not going to go into huge details because i got a video coming <laughs> out of this. Because this isn't that video. <laughs> but I am going to say that, you know, on the subject of, like, it, it didn't feel too long, even yeah. though it was kind of long, Attack on Titan is an 80-minute long movie that felt like it was three hours long. Ooh. That's all I'm going to say for right now. <laughs> So, so this length, yes. is a good yeah. spin or good use of time. Yeah, ba basically it was paced really well. Yeah. Like every scene was exactly. essential. Everything kind of bled into the next thing. Yeah. There was a couple of times where I'm like, wait, how did we get here? But then it kind of fills in the blanks and then yeah. we kind of figure out. And also the fact that Emily Blunt, who is like, you know, the pseudo main character with Benicio Del Toro, she doesn't fully get what's going on. Yeah. So it totally. makes sense that, you know, we don't fully get how we got here because she doesn't fully get how we got there. Yeah. So beautifully done on that part. Totally. Uh, so yeah, it's well acted. The cinematography is fucking beautiful. Like oh that shot God. at s a night with like the orange light as the sun's like yes. going down. There's, there could have just been two hours of just 
New Mexico sunsets oh or Arizona sunsets. It's just like that, know, done yeah. by this guy is what really well done. Was someone talking <laughs> about drug drug war <laughs> stuff, just <laughs> narrating over it, and yeah, it would have been a great exactly. movie. There was like, just no other movie. It's just the dialogue of the entire movie with, <laughs> with just this uh, these beautiful scenes. It's perfect. Man, we're coming up with some experimental shit here. We need to start totally. making some movies together right, here, bro. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Cool. All right, huzzah! Two cents and nonsense. Yeah, and we're already you know yeah, ten minutes. I think that's good here. You got anything else you want to add before we uh, wrap this up? You should see it. You should definitely see Sicario. And it's a. Uh, it was really. It was good movie to see in a big theater. Oh yeah. You'd probably be fine watching it at home. Oh, oh, totally. But like there's the, like there's like that impact it. of the sound and everything that'll yeah. really hit home and really get you in the feels in the theater. So. Right in the feels. Right in the feels. Get hit in the feels. Your, your feels are going to be feeling the things that they're not supposed to be feeling. Mm. What? All right. <laughs> okay. That's a good note to end it on. Peace out, guys. See you guys. Let's see if I can actually turn this thing off for once without fumbling.